Welcome to today's video. In this video, I am going to share with you how to create this simple coloring book from this image. I have made other pages as well, like I can show you. I have created this hot balloon from this image and then I also created this coloring page. This is simple car coloring page. This could be a page for kids coloring book. I have created this coloring page from this image and like i have already shown you this page from this image and this one from this cone ice cream image all these images i have taken from google images like i have searched cone ice cream and i came across this image and then i have turned this image into this coloring page using the pen tool only this is the pen tool within affinity designer so in this video i am going to share with you the step by step process so pay close attention and don't skip any step and do watch this video till the very end so without further ado let's get started so let me zoom out this is the artboard you can create artboard very easily just click on there here if you have a new page like uh, i can create a new page here and this is 16 to 4 inches you can also create a page like 8.5 into 11 inches and then you can create, create this would be a blank page to create an artboard you can click on here and then click on insert artboard this would be an artboard so let me copy the image this is our image and now we can start creating our coloring page so paste this image here control v now this is the our source file and we will be creating a coloring page from this image using the pen tool only so first enlarge this while holding shift no don't hold shift just enlarge this because this is within the artboard you so you don't need to hold the shift key from your keyboard so once you have enlarged this here now you can take the pen tool this is the pen tool you can press p from your keyboard this is the shortcut from for pen tool so click on the pen tool and change the stroke to something like 2.1 and switch this color to black and just leave the fill color we will change the fill color later on so once you have selected your pen tool now zoom in using control plus plus key and now start clicking the points here like i will click here then here then here don't worry about these lines we will change these lines to make this amazing design so use your arrow keys are this roller keys and then zoom out click once here and then here like this and then here now our this shape is complete all we need to do is to change the angles to look to make it look like this top of our, our crown of this ice cream cone so to do that you need to go here this is the node tool or you can press a from your keyboard click on this node tool and start changing now hold your left key and drag like this you can move around to make sure that it is perfectly aligned now click come here and see this little line appearing on the already made stroke then press left key from your mouse or pad here and move it here okay you can see this is not very round so click here select this point and go to here this is the corner tool and drag, just drag to make it round so now this is perfectly round now you can click to the node tool again and then make this round now you can see this is not perfectly round so you don't need to worry about just click on this point here 
and then you will see these handles so while holding alt key from your keyboard hold the alt key from your keyboard and move this handle around so like this zoom in and then again holding alt key from your keyboard and move this handle while holding the left key from your mouse so here now similarly drag here here and then this is the round shape again you need to change the handles for that place it here like this click on this point here when you click on here handles will appear hold the alt key and drag like this again hold the alt key from your keyboard then press the left mouse button and drag make sure these are perfectly aligned okay now move this here again move it here and then click on this point and hold the alt key and change it here and move it here as well so zoom out and you can see if we hide this original image you can see we have made very good crown and we can also click on the curve and change the stroke thickness to your likings like this okay now get it back and now we can add very simple circles here just go to the circle or ellipse tool and while holding the shift key from your keyboard just drag to make a big circle like this and move it here just drag to make it bigger so this is okay okay go back to the swatches and change the color for this fill color to white and stroke color to black again click on this one this is the crown and change the fill color to white okay now uh, change uh, get back our image here this is our image here and just uncheck this and check this one and you need to make this little circle to do that you can enable this big circle and just duplicate this click or select this and hold alt from your keyboard and drag it will make a copy hold shift key and make it smaller like this and then place here like this then enable this crown here and you can see we have created a very beautiful cone top here all we need to do is create this little body here to do that you need to uncheck this and then go back to the pen tool and zoom in and once click here then click on a random place here and then click here and then click here and then click here you can move the points just go to the node tool here and use your arrow keys to move this point down like this or left or right so once you have made this shape just change the fill color to white again and then move this shape toward down so enable the top layers then you can see this is the shape on top all we need to do is move it down to move this curve down you need to hold the left button from your mouse and just drag 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 and place it here and it will be toward the bottom and you can see we have created a very simple coloring page from this cone image you can change the fill colors if you want to just go to here and change the fill color to this one orange you can change the circle colors fill colors select both circles and change the fill color to something like purple and you can also change the cone color to something like red so in this way you can create a very beautiful cone uh, illustration or if you need don't need these fill colors you can select these layers again 
hold shift and select all these layers and change the fill color to white so in this way this would be a very good coloring page for your coloring book for kids if you see any errors just click here and just move it up like this so you don't see any corners here if we see any change uh, any error or any something like strange here you can change make changes and hide this one before exporting this you need to hide this original image or delete now these are a uh, perfect learning page if you want to you can change also create these simple lines like these uh, lines like this so firstly hide the this one this the curve and then you can go to again pen tool here and create simple lines and now this time you go to stroke and change this dash line and then change the thickness to one or and then go here on to dashes and change it to three and this to five and then again click on the pen tool and you will click on here and then simply here this will add a line now once you have added a line all you can do is you can duplicate this line this was our line just hold alt key from your keyboard and make a copy here don't worry about these extra lines i will show you how to hide these so then to du keep duplicating here and then again duplicate again and again move you can move it using your arrow keys again holding alt and left mouse button you can drag and it will make a copy place it here again place it here okay now select all these lines like this and control press g from your keyboard this is grouped now control press j to duplicate and once this is duplicated click on here this is flip horizontal or reverse and then move this here like that slightly down okay now select these two groups and control plus g to group again now take these lines and keep dragging and place like here this will create a clipping mask and then enable this so we have created a beautiful cone icon or coloring page using the pen tool only and then this note tools and this corner tools so this is the way i have created these coloring pages you can see here i have created this one this balloon and then this beautiful looking car so this is very easy to use uh, a pen tool within affinity designer you can also use any other design software like adobe indesign and uh, adobe photoshop to create this similar coloring pages with for amazon kdb export this by going to the file and then export and then go to the pdf or jpeg and then click export so this is how you can create simple coloring pages so that is all from me today I'll see you in the next and i also recommend you to watch my next video that is all about finding keywords this is in-depth tutorial so don't skip thanks for watching see you in the next video